What's going on guys? Haven't done a long video in a while. I'm gonna give you guys an update of what's going on, future projects. So this is my four and a half year old Biak Green Tree Python. She's finally being paired with my male Jayapira. He has really nice blue stripe all the way down his spine. So I'm going to be attempting to make Jayapira Biox this season. Hopefully there's a lock within the next couple of days or weeks. This is my hatchling rack. I keep leopard geckos and a few hatchling ball pythons. So blazing blizzard, leopard gecko. They don't have the best eyesight, so I'm not gonna keep the light in their eyes for too long. This is just a Tremper albino. Came out really dark. I produced that from a patternless head albino to a blizzard. Head albino. This is a, one of its siblings. Same genetics. Trumper albino. It's het for blizzard and patternless. This is a normal triple het for blizzard, patternless, and trumper albino. These three tubs are all piebald hatchlings, 2014s. Super high white, all females. This one's got all nice, even the white tail, nice white going down the whole body. Good patterning. This one's pretty high white as well. This one's nice. Really cool blushing on her back. Give you guys an idea of how big they are. They're about 70 grams now. Cool little eight looking saddle on her back. So that's it for this hatchling rack in this room. This is my emerald tree boa set up. It's a male Northern Emerald Tree Ball. Super tame. About two and a half, three years old now. Take you guys into my reptile room. This is actually my bedroom that we're in right now. It's my reptile room. Start off right here. It's my sarong. Green tree python female. She's got nice blue on her back as well, uh, like the Jayapira. She's breeding size now, so I'm gonna probably try to breed her to the Jayapira as well this season. Super tame, probably tamest out of all my green trees.
you guys could check out uh, longer videos of each snake I have uploaded, but I'm gonna try to get through them as fast as possible. This is uh, my ball python, two of my ball python racks, crested gecko setup, big gravid female hiding under here, and the male's hiding somewhere in there. Start up here with my male cinnamon piebald. It's a combo of a cinnamon and a pie. Really nice high white whole snake. It's got a weird paradox. Some black scaling back here. my 2012 2000 gram piebald female she's my first pied she has the paradox spots as well on her they seem to develop them when they get older super high white this is the snake that probably actually got me back into reptiles this is a uh, hundred percent het pod female she's actually building eggs right now she'll be going into ovulation soon in the next couple months, mm -hmm. to a spider het pod. The actual spider het pod is right here, male. And this is also 100% het pod female. He'll be locked up with her by the morning. This is a uh, 2014 pied hatchling female she was my first pick out of going through about 50 55 or so piebalds she had the nicest uh, pattern in my opinion very spread out pattern she's really Looks like she wants to nip me right now. Just she's got about seven different saddles on her body. If I can get her to open up here, show you guys. She's not cooperating very well. Anyway, 2014 Bumblebee female, super high white sides. She's going to have a lot of white when she's an adult. Very nippy snake. Trying to tame her out, handle her pretty much every day. These are two more 2014 piebald hatchlings. Got calcium powder on my hands. Just for feeding the leopard geckos. That one's like a medium white. This girl is a uh, high white. 2014 as well.
hungry. I try to feed them like twice a week. They're eating hoppers right now. This snake right here. Very special snake. It's given to me by a good friend of mine who produced it. This is uh weird ringer that came out on a super cinnamon. Almost looks like a panda pod. But it's not. She was given to me because she has a weird bubble eye. You guys can see it. One of her eyes has a bubble, but she eats very good and it doesn't seem to bother her. So I took her in, gave her a good home. She has a clogged tear duct. This is a Mojave female, deep in shed. Just peed. This right here is a spider phantom. Pretty cool looking snake. They produce really cool looking babies though. If I breed her to a Super Mojave, I can get Purple Passions and a couple weird, different weird snakes that look really nice. This is a 2014 Lesser. I'm going to breed a Super Mojave to her or a different Blue Eyed Lucy Complex male because they're het leucistic. This is, whoops. This is a pastel yellow belly. A really nice one at that. My buddy produced it and it's probably one of the nicest pastel yellow bellies that he's produced. This is a female spider, 100% het piebald. It's got some nice white fleckling, white specks, not too many though. She could be a lot more high white for a spider, but at least she has some. Really nice head pattern. This is my male pie bulb. He's really deep in shed right now, so he's not looking too great. Looks like pink and a lot darker than he usually is. He's about 85% white. This is a pastel female. This is an Aru Green Tree Python female. Decent amount of white scales. 
good amount of blue as well. Male crusty gecko. Over here is my other rack. Nothing in here. Right now. These are the parents of the hatching leopard geckos I showed you guys in the other room. She's actually grabbed it again. If you could see the egg in there. She's uh, about to probably drop another two eggs here in the next couple days. If you guys could see those two eggs in there on the other side, one here and one on the other side. I don't want to bother her too much. Uh, it's her egg laying box. It's just uh, vermiculite soil and a little bit of perlite, just any substrate that holds moisture really. This is the male blizzard head albino. It's an albino patternless. This is a Mojave. Male ball python deep in shed. A couple of these tubs are empty. This is a silver bullet ball python. It's a super cinnamon pastel. This guy's got a personality if I've ever seen one. He's got a really cool paradox. He's like jumpy, he's really weird. But he's got a really cool paradox right here. So yeah, pastel super cinnamon. So it has three genes, two cinnamon genes and a pastel gene. It's called the silver bullet. Here, my female sun glow boa constrictor. Just ate a jumbo rat yesterday, so I'm not gonna bother her too much. She has a nice pattern, but not as nice as my male that I'm about to show you guys. Which is right here. He's in shed though right now, so he doesn't look too good. But you can see his pattern is a lot nicer than hers. A lot more pattern. More busy. Little hourglasses. And this snake right here is actually going to lay eggs within the next two weeks. It's a really big 100% het pied female. I bred her to a spider 100% het pied, so I should get pieds and spides and some other stuff. Really big. She should lay about 9 or 10 eggs. So I'll definitely get a couple spides, at least one, at least one. Got a jaguar carpet python in here. Not the nicest snake in the world, but 
Definitely one of the prettiest. You guys have vision cages keep little chopsticks in here hold the door from opening okay last snake in here my Biak green python I keep this little paper here because she's nervous and she doesn't really eat very good she's a picky eater so when I walk by the cage I don't want her to get nervous during the day I walk by a lot So, any questions, you guys let me know. This guy's about 500 grams, so I'm introducing him to my piebald who's finally ready to breed. Well, she's actually more than ready to breed. Hopefully we get a lock. This will produce half pods and half cinnamon pods well that's the odds I could actually get cinnamon pods seem to come out in abundance so I could get you know 75 80 percent cinnamon pods and the rest pods we'll see alright guys any questions let me know subscribe if you guys haven't Thumbs up if you like the video. See you later.